Okay. Hello, my name is Wei Lian Song, and I'm here to present me and my co-author's work on FARSA, Fully Automatic Roadway Safety Estimation. So I'd like to start by first comparing these two roads. The left road uh, has various features that makes it relatively unsafe compared to the right road in terms of uh, delineation, pavement condition, lane width, etc. Um, so our work primarily deals with these road level attributes plus many more and how they, can, how they are used to determine roadway safety. And to measure roadway safety, we utilize the star rating system, which is defined in the International Road Assessment uh, Program. For any given road segment, we can obtain the star rating score ranging from one through five, higher the score to safer the road. And it is calculated from many road level attributes. Uh, separate scores can be calculated for pedestrian, cyclist, and driver safety, of which we'll be focusing the ones for driver for this research. And here are the two roads from the last slide. The left one happens to be a two-star road, and the right one is a four-star one. So to calculate the star rating of a road segment, we, uh, the, the standard approach is to first obtain a panoramic image of the road segment. A human expert will then assign various road level attributes labels to the image, including lane width, driver's side land use, road conditions, and so on. The labels are then passed to a shallow classifier, which outputs the star rating. But the annotation process can be very time consuming and labor intensive. And that's a problem because transportation departments often have to uh, assess thousands of miles of roads periodically. So our approach to this problem is to replace the middle with an end-to-end -end convolutional neural network such that we can go directly from a panoramic image to a star rating along with various role level attributes. Here is an overview to our approach. It is split into three different components, single task, multitask, and unsupervised task. The single task goal is to predict the star rating. Uh, we begin with a panoramic image, passing it through convolutional layers of VGG, a one-by-one -one convolutional layer, and followed by a tension mask and a fully connected layer to obtain the star rating probability distribution. The attention mask here is a learnable task-specific layer that allows the network to focus on specific parts of the panorama for prediction. The uh, multitask is responsible for predicting the role level attributes. Each attribute's prediction process is similar to the uh, star rating one, starting with the same panoramic image followed by VGG and one by one convolutional layer, which is shared with single task, and then followed by task-specific attention layer and fully connected layer to obtain the predicted probability distribution. For both tasks, we minimize the cross entropy loss, and but for single tasks, we also minimize the Kramer distance as the star rating label is ordinal. And for unsupervised tasks, we train on pairs of geographically close panoramas that are within 50 feet apart from each other, and we minimize the Kramer distance of the star rating distribution. Uh, panoramas, oh, star ratings are valid for 100 meter segments of roads, therefore pairs that are within 50 feet apart should have similar distributions. And unsupervised task shares all weights with single task network. So we have 7,288 samples in our uh, star rating data set, 80% used for training, 20 reserved for testing, and we have 23 different road level attribute labels to predict from. And we have approximately 36,000 pairs of panoramas for unsupervised training, and we train using standard approaches with TensorFlow. And here are our results, comparing our method against various configurations of itself. And in baseline, we essentially fix the attention to be uniform. And as we can see, uh, the, our method achieved the best top one accuracy um, across the data set when we combine all methods. An interesting application to our, uh, to our work is the concept of safety-aware vehicle routing. Say, for example, we have a given route from point A to point B uh, generated by the Valhalla routing engine. It passes through a section which is deemed unsafe to our uh, star rating network. While the same engine coupled with the star rating that is produced by our network can instead suggest less risky routes by uh, avoiding the uh, unsafe section in favor of a safer, safer one instead. Thank you very much, and please come by our poster if you had more questions.